Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Uh, Midmo Headhunter uh, coming to you today with a uh, video uh, about my uh, H&R uh, New England Arms Partner Pump, or known also known as the uh, 870 Clone. Uh, as you saw in my last video, I talked about the uh, upgrade that I did put on here, uh, the Blackhawk stock. Uh, again, it did not want to uh, stay tightened up the screw that came with it. Either the threads are no good, or uh, for whatever reason, I tried putting Loctite on it to try to get it to stay on, and just the recoil was so strong that it literally just tore it to pieces. So it wouldn't stay in there, and I wanted to, I had to get a new stock for it, and the best one I could find was a ProMag uh, stock that also came with a crawl rail pump. Um, actually, it's not really considered a quad rail. It's got three rails on it, so it's a tri-rail, if you will. And great, great material, and uh, this particular uh, stock itself also comes with uh, two three-round side saddles. Uh, just keep in mind also, uh, I have the cells in there for a reason, uh, to kind of break that in and also ex have extra ammunition for whatever is not in the actual magazine tube itself. Uh, but I'm just trying to break it in right now because it's kind of hard to get those out because uh, it seems like it's only, it's, they were meant for like 20 like 28 shells or something like that that's the only problem i've had with it yet uh, and then moving right along i also put a uh, weaver rail on here i can't remember the particular model number on it uh, but i know you can buy them on amazon they are going to be a little bit harder to find uh, especially with the uh, gun scare thing going on they just you know they just don't make enough of them and when the seller has them uh, whoever ordered them first, it's like a first come first serve basis kind of thing, like everything, anything else is. But I waited like four, about four to five months for this particular one, uh, and this is the only one that fits this model. I tried uh, seeing if a uh, Remington 870 uh, rail would fit on there, but it had uh, the screw holes that were the screw screw into the receiver. Uh, they didn't line up, so I had to get this model for that and what good is a rail if you can't see your one and only bead at the end i had to get a uh, sight mark or i didn't have to i was doing research and looked at reviews and i found that this one was really good uh, this is just the uh, sight mark pro and just and it's really good sight i mean i sighted this thing in at uh like 25 to 50 yards and i just was curious to see if i'd even hit anything at 100 with it and surprisingly, out of four shots, I hit the target all four times, and it had a pretty decent group. And also keep in mind, uh, this was done on a nine-inch target, so not a real big target uh, due to the fact that the the uh, reticle that I was using took up pretty much the whole target. Uh, so a good sight. Definitely want to invest in if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Honestly, the quality of it, it's almost as good, if not the same, as an EOTech. So if you're looking for a... A cheaper site but yet still have the quality behind it site mark is definitely the way to go um, great product uh, seller on Amazon is really fast uh, in a timely manner so definitely buy one of those uh, if you're looking for a good red dot uh, it's advertised that it's supposed to be fog proof uh, shock proof and um, it's supposed to be fog proof too uh, which uh, I don't really, they really don't define how fog proof it really is, but I did happen to have uh, air conditioning on and stuff during the summer. And once you take it out uh, out of a cool environment and you take it out to where it's hot, uh, it, tend, it tended to want to fog up a little bit, which isn't a surprise. Uh, but other than that, great site. Definitely want to buy if, if you're looking for a cheap but good quality red dot. And then moving right along, it's got the uh, tri rail uh, pump. And I went ahead and put a Magpul. Uh, I think it's an AG2. Uh, I think this is the bigger model. I got kind of slightly bigger hands than the average man. So I figured this would be a good good one to have. Be able to have a little bit extra grip. And you'll be able to kind of conform your hand to this a little bit better uh, when reloading the next round. And then the other thing I did put on the other side that uh, you know might look kind of goofy. Uh, this is what we call the hand stop. This... You just slide your hand in just like this. That way now you even have more grip on it and uh, you're able to uh, reload rounds even faster. 
uh, with that. And it just gives you a little bit more stability, a little bit more control of the gun. Uh, yeah, it looks goofy, and it kind of makes the uh, width, or like the width of your gun, like how, you know, it makes it a little bit more wide. So it's it's not as compact, but I recommend it. Again, you can buy that on Amazon, about 15, 16 bucks. Just look up for a hand stop for a uh, Picatinny reel, which is what this is. And this quad rail, again, is also a polymer. I'm looking to upgrade and get an aluminum one. Uh, they run somewhere about 120 bucks or so, but actually finding one that fits on here, uh, that's going to be a little bit more uh, trouble. And if you do happen to know where I can purchase one, uh, definitely comment below and let me know about that. Because uh, I'm always looking to upgrade and make uh, my, my guns uh, that potentially could save your life have the best equipment and the least uh, failure rate for any of the... Uh, accessories you put on this thing and again with the with the mag pole you can buy that also on amazon i paid like 20 25 bucks i think for this one and again that's also the ag2 and then i put a tack light on here that's got three different settings it's got uh low or high low and stroke so here and this is 160 lumens so this is pretty bright That's the high there, that's low, and then of course strobe. So, uh, I happened to find that at Menards at a local uh, hardware store, which is uh, good light. Came with three of them for 20 bucks, and I couldn't complain. Uh, the original uh, Nebo light that you can buy at Walmart, this is just a clamp for it. But I originally had the actual kit, just the flashlight, and that thing was not worth a crap. I'll also let you know a review on that. Uh, did not hold up to the recoil for this uh, particular uh, gun. I mean, just 12 gauge was just too much for it, and it just wore it out. So definitely don't buy one of those if you're going to put it on a high caliber like this uh, with a lot of recoil. Also, this particular light takes uh, three AAA batteries. And this one here, just hold on just a quick second I'll have those batteries and I can show you what uh, the actual model is on those okay so these right here are what those that site mark takes. It's gonna be the AG5. Uh, I purchased these for like five bucks, I think, ten batteries. And I think uh, this particular site takes three, uh, if I remember right. So, uh, so I have enough to um, put three different sets of batteries in here. Also looking to get a few more packages of these. That way it doesn't wear out on me. And I will give you a review later um, once I've done some thorough testing on the uh, sight mark. I mean, I have shot it a little bit, but I haven't sh I haven't put a whole lot of rounds through it yet. So that's pretty much it uh, for the H and R uh, New England Arms Partner Pump, uh, kind of the tacked out version, if you will, or upgraded version. So like my video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, drop any comments below if you have any questions regarding how I acquired uh, the accessories that I have shown you today and as always have a good day